We will be going over brightness gain for this lesson. This ties in with the image intensification. Brightness gain is defined as the ratio of illumination intensity at the output phosphor measured in candela per meter squared to the radiation intensity incident on the input phosphor, which is measured in milligray per second. This definition is telling you how much brightness is increased when comparing radiation at the input phosphor to when it is converted to light at the output phosphor. Radiation is measured in milligrays and light is measured in candelas. It will always be the light at the output phosphor over the radiation input. The numerator will always be larger than the denominator. In the next few minutes, I will discuss how you determine the amount of brightness gain. It takes into consideration two other processes, which are flux gain and minification gain. Let's start with minification. It is a ratio of the areas of the input phosphor and the output phosphor. You are going from a larger surface area to a smaller surface area, which is why it is referred to as minification. Also, understand that when I am describing ratios, these will not have units. The formula to find a circular area is pi r squared. Pi is a mathematical constant that is 3.141592, and it could go on and on. For the purpose of determining minification gain, we only have to round to 3.14, and r represents the radius of the circle. Pause here and do the example problem. If the input phosphor has a diameter of 10 inches and the diameter of the output phosphor is 2 inches, what is the minification gain? First, we need to find the radii of the two diameters. We can do this just by having the two measurements. After this, we just plug the numbers into the formula and follow the order of operations. You should get 78.5 over 3.14. Your final answer will be 25. This is telling you that the light emitted will be 25 times brighter at the output phosphor than the input phosphor. Okay, now there is flux gain. Flux gain is determined by a ratio as well. It is the number of light photons produced over the number of x-rays which incident on the input phosphor. There will always be more light photons than x-rays. That is the entire concept of image intensification and brightness gain. Flux gain will usually be in the range of 3,000 to 4,000 times more. Pause here and let's take a few minutes and do the example. Like I said in the previous slide, you're going to divide your 500,000 light photons over 300 x-rays. Your answer should be 1,666.67. This answer is telling us that there is 1,666 light photons for every single x-ray, which incident on the input phosphor. Now that we know how to find flux gain and minification gain, the rest is very easy. Brightness gain is the product of the two. I just want to note that minification gain and flux gain are two separate processes. I'm going to end this lesson with an example problem that ties everything together. I want you to solve for brightness gain looking at this diagram. Bring your answer to class and I will go over it with you then.